Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If this is your first time watching or listening to the show, thank you for joining us. Tell a friend. So we went to New York for that Switch event. Uh, we talked all about it on the podcast a couple weeks ago. What we didn't talk about was that we were shuffled off to a secret room and Kyle got to play several hours of Breath of the Wild. And then the day after that, we got to interview Anuma, who's the producer for Zelda, and Mr. Miyamoto himself. Uh, and we've been carving a whole month of coverage out of it. But That's right. Kyle, after playing several hours of Breath of the Wild, biggest takeaway. What'd you think? Biggest takeaway. Um, I get, I, the biggest takeaway, I think, would be the challenge. The game was harder than I thought it would be. It... Uh, and maybe it's just a matter of like having played previous Zelda games where I've gotten used to the, how the combat works, but I was getting killed often. I mean, you guys can kind of confirm that. I died a lot um, just kind of exploring the open world. Oh, yeah. I, I was getting hit by enemies that were taking off like six hearts at a time. But even just the fact of how much damage enemies were taking is an indicator to me that they're going to be more difficult in general. Like Enemies don't take you on one at a time, which was a big thing about Ocarina, is that enemies... If you met a group of enemies, they would usually take you on one at a time, but that's not the case here. You say Ocarina. It's interesting. I'm trying to remember with Skyward Sword. They still kind of wait their Z-targeting turn, right? I think so. Yeah, I just I just know it started with Ocarina. Like, they actually referenced watching samurai films and how those fights would break down, and that, that was inspiration for how the combat worked in Ocarina of Time. Yeah. and But, like, I was get like, I, we encountered ice lizalfos, uh, which are, like, icy lizard sword They carrying. like hiding in snow. That's right. And I found, I, like, I was fighting one, and then one just like, jumped up out of the snow from behind me and killed me instantly and did not wait his turn. You, you know, he didn't look at me. I was like, well, I'll, I'll wait till he finishes that fight and then I'll jump in there. He came in and took off six hearts and I was dead. The demo that we saw, it certainly had a lot more numbers in it than I was expecting. I think there's going to be a lot more of tracking stats and buffs. Like, you can eat different food and it'll make you, like, your stealth your stealth abilities better for a certain period of time or you can withstand the cold for a certain period of time. The UI is a little bit busier than I expected. I guess people have seen the footage that's out there and they have a good idea of what it's going to look like and whatnot. But on the idea of getting better equipment, that was a huge thing. Like, they are very generous with throwing a bunch of different weapons at you all the time. So the way I thought it was, was that you had to go into the menu and, like, find the one with the lowest stats. It's just an attack stat. There's, like, speed and stats and what, whatnot, but you can, like, kind of see. Those are invisible. Right, but you can kind of get a rough idea. Yeah. But the, all the, the only number that they show are the attack stats. And I thought you just had to go through the inventory and kind of drop them out manually. No, but it, but you can all, it's all, like, a, a part of the D-pad. Like, you can quickly flip through weapons and get rid of them quickly, too. Like, you actually do twice as much damage as you normally would by throwing a weapon at an enemy. So it is really encouraging you to get rid of your weaker stuff because you're going to do more damage with it. You can throw it at an enemy do more damage, and then pick up something else without ever having to pause the game, which is nice. I'm still worried that the equipment breaks on you, but as Hanson says, like you're constantly getting new stuff. Like I don't think you're ever going to be in a shortage for weapons. Every enemy fight has a weapon that he, he drops and you can pick up and use. Mm -hmm. That might be better. I think it is. it does remind me a little bit of games like Skyrim, but that all, always has the like little Nintendo touch to it. Where, okay. For example, there was a lightning storm. This really struck me, and like you can get struck Nah. By, by lightning, right? It started as a rainstorm and then it turned into a lightning storm. And I had a, a, a sword and a shield equipped, and they started sparking on my back. And the lightning was attracted to me, and it struck me. So it's trying it to give you a me. warning that, like, hey, if you have steel yeah. in the middle of this lightning storm, you need to get it off your body yeah, immediately. You, you can take it off and throw it at enemies, and they'll get hit by lightning. Yeah. But in my playthrough, I was super struck by lightning, and I super died immediately. Just weird systems. This is very much, JB, the way it's up, you know, your alley, is it's very much the Far Cry 2 of Legend of Zelda. All right, it, I'm, it, I'm there. It is systems <laughs> heavy in a really bizarre way. Just like the lightning, like you mentioned, or just little things like there'll be a huge snowball rolling down this mountain. And it's like, well, if the enemies happen to be in its path, they'll totally get taken out. You can see their health go down as they go tumbling down the mountain oh, alongside weird. it. Just so many weird little interactions. Or... One little trick they taught us is you have, like, the stasis ability. So you can, like, it's very uh, dead space, right? You can, like, freeze an object. And so you can freeze, like, a bomb or an explosive barrel and then just go up to it and hack it a thousand times with your sword. And then when the stasis runs off, it'll go launching. Uh, basically, like, the home run derby thing in Smash yeah. Brothers. Just yeah. go launching and explode in a huge way. There's so many weird little physics 
quirks in this game that more so than I've ever seen in any Nintendo game, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's clear that they've had a long time to work on the game and they just kept putting stuff into it. There's like, what else can we do? Let's add this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I'm kind of interested about ever since this was revealed, that it's going to be more of an open world giant kind of game is, okay, how are they going to retain the Nintendo polish? Because, you know, when I think of Nintendo games... I think of that polish. I think that's where they sell me on it. Like Fire Emblem, uh, Smash Brothers, everything's finely tuned. Everything's fun. Yeah. Um, even stuff that's you know might seem generic. Yeah. There's like some twist to it. So I'm really curious to see how and this. I think this pans is going to have that as well. Well, we did 